making it to the Tour Championship is always special. If you make it here, you've had a good, consistent year. Earning a spot at East Lake signifies a successful year. But for the top five players in the standings, a win at the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola guarantees much more. A FedEx Cup title. If I was able to win the FedEx Cup and win the Tour Championship this week, it would mean just as much as this run uh, that I was on in the summer. It would be the perfect ending to what's been the best year of my career so far. Hunter Mahan takes the title. You're playing against the best players in the world. You have a chance to win the FedEx Cup with a win this week. An incredible feeling. To go all season against the best players in the world here on the PGA Tour and come out as the number one guy would be unbelievable. Billy Horschel with the biggest victory of his career, the BMW champion, 2014. Winning last week at the BMW championship has put me in a great position now to win the FedEx Cup. I go from having maybe a so-so year to possibly having a great year, and I'm really uh, excited about that. It's like winning a major. I've never been this high up on the points. I'm looking forward to the challenge. It comes down to Sunday. I would love to have that opportunity to have a chance to win. That opportunity may come on the daunting par 3 18th. Hi, my name is Chad Parker, General Manager of Eastlake Golf Club. We're standing on the 18th hole here at Eastlake, par three finishing hole, the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. Players are not likely to miss this green long, meaning they'll find one of the front two bunkers that flank the green. There's rough, long, left, and right of the hole, giving the players a better chance for an up and down for par out of the bunker. The key to hitting this shot well is to not take too much sand before you hit the ball, and just try to let the sand take the ball out and not try to do too much with the shot. If you had a shot like that, maybe you'll be holding the FedEx Cup on Sunday. While players at the top of the standings have the best chance to make that a reality, holding the FedEx Cup is not out of reach for any player in the field. It's very likely if I win, I win the FedEx Cup. With all I've done this year, to have the chance here, and if I can go get the win this week, it would be uh, icing on top of the cake, and it'd be hard to top this year down the road. There's a good opportunity if I were to win the Tour Championship this week, but good chance that I'd also win the FedEx Cup as well, which is one of the highlights of my career. It would be wonderful to be able to do it again. With four birdies in his last seven holes, 2010 FedEx Cup champ Jim Furyk continues to demonstrate his mastery at East Lake on Thursday, tying for the early clubhouse lead with a 67. 18 years his junior, Jason Day survives two early bogeys and a caddy change to also post three under. Chasing him are Chris Kirk and Billy Horschel, who have little in common besides their lofty FedEx Cup ranking. We're probably two completely opposite people in the sense that he just looks like he's moving very slow and, and uh, nothing affects them, and I'm the complete opposite. But Chris and I get along very well, and we seem to always play well when we're paired together. With a performance worthy of their spots atop the standings, they are both two under through 10. Another up-and-comer, Morgan Hoffman, has made the most of his playoff appearance, leaping 103 spots in the standings to get to Eastlake. Beginning of the season, I would hoped to envision myself here. It was one of my goals, but just sneaking in the playoffs after the Wyndham didn't really, you know, see it happening. But after a couple good rounds, you know, everything changes. Hoffman makes his first trip around Eastlake a good one, carding an even par 70. Ricky Fowler also gets off to a strong start, and after top five finishes in all four majors, is hoping his season closes with a W. Hammers that one in. He opens with a one under 69. Tied for the lead at three under, Horschel briefly ends the deadlock at 16. Okay, <laughs> hit it a little firmly, but it got in there. So Billy Horschel takes the outright lead. Not to be outdone, Kirk joins Horschel at the top at 17. Oh, and he's done it beautifully. I guess. How about in the hole? Oh, Chris Kirk. They sign for matching 66s to maintain a share of the lead. 